Perhaps this can all be traced back to La Juice? The Italian restaurant owned by Marco Verratti, located on the famous Rue du Faubourg Saint-Honoré near the Champs-Élysées, is where Paris Saint-Germain's season changed for the better. On February 25, when the Italy international invited all of his teammates to his venue for lunch, things were not good. PSG had lost their Champions League round of 16 first leg 2-1 at Borussia Dortmund, where coach Thomas Tuchel's tactics and his players' attitudes were all wrong. Two days later, Edinson Cavani, Angel Di Maria and Mauro Icardi organized a joint birthday party and some of the footage posted on social media, including some of the players dancing bare-chested, upset a lot of fans and people at the club. Before the defeat in Germany, they had drawn against Amiens 4-4 and, after they got back, they were lucky to beat Bordeaux 4-3 at the Parc des Princes. Crisis was in the air. Stream FC Daily on ESPN plus Ogden, PSG on brink of glory after decade of lavish spending soccer snazziest suits, Nagelsmann joins Messi, Ronaldo, Neymar the players got together at Verratti's restaurant to show unity, but also to create unity. This group of players needed a change, something that would spur them on and lead them forward. The word out of that meeting is that it made them a team, gave them a collective strength. That day, Kylian Mbappe and Neymar, who were sat next to each other in their Christian Dior hoodies, orange for the Frenchman, yellow for the Brazilian, realized they had to open up and get closer to their teammates because something special was about to happen. The players believed they were going to turn around the tie against Dortmund. And they did. That 2-0 win behind closed doors, inspired by Neymar and celebrated by 4,000 PSG ultras outside the Parc des Princes, sent them to Lisbon. But to do what exactly? During European football's shutdown because of the coronavirus pandemic, with players in lockdown all around the world, some in France, some in Germany, some in Brazil, they made a pact, they would give everything to go as far as possible in the Champions League, they knew how good each of them were individually, but it was time to become a proper team, to fight for each other and be focused, disciplined, professional. It was a pledge. It was Mayen, with the Ligue 1 title already secured by default after the French season was cancelled, the only objective on each PSG player's mind was the Champions League. If they wanted to go all the way and lift the Holy Grail, they needed unity and solidarity. You don't win the Champions League unless you are a proper team and behave like it. Tuchel witnessed it all from afar. The PSG manager was not at La Juice in February. He is not in the players' WhatsApp group. He had little communication with his men during lockdown. But he trusted the process. He knew something was happening.